Good morning YouTube! Gonna do another day of what I ate today. This morning I'm just gonna have a shake. I have my little helper with me today. Say good morning! Good morning YouTube! <laughs> Alright Kylie, so what are the ingredients? What do we have here? Pineapple. And what about this? You, you know what this is. What kind of milk is it? Almond milk. That's right. And then we're going to do this tropical cocktail smoothie. All right. Let's measure out our ingredients. Okay. All right. My assistant is helping me make the shake. First, we put in a cup of almond milk. And I also had a half a cup of water. I don't like my um, shake too thick. All right, now do the pineapple. And the shake mix. All right, good job, babe. Now let's shake it up. In a cup. All right, it's all done now. You can, Kylie's gonna have some too. Go ahead, taste it. Taste it, my love. Good thing you didn't put bananas in it. We're just pineapple today. Mm. <laughs> Good? <laughs> All right. All right, it's lunchtime. Uh, last night, I finally made the Emily Bites um, chicken and wild rice soup. It came out awesome. I would totally make that again, so I reheated a cup of that for six smart points. And four club crackers is two smart points, one laughing cow for one smart point. So that's nine total for lunch. And I just want to show you how I store the rest of my soup. <clears throat> I just um, put the one cup of soup in and I laid it flat and then I froze it flat. Uh, this way I could stack them. So, I made a lot of leftovers, so I have more in the freezer. And a quick, easy, go-to um, meal. So, alright, that is my lunch. It's snack time! That's right, we are going to have a baby orange. That's not even little. I know. We had to get um, Halo oranges because I went to ShopRite and they didn't have cuties. So we are having, I guess we can't even call it a baby orange, huh? Yeah. How about let's call it a mommy orange. Okay, we're going to have a mommy orange for snack time. Zero SPs. So for dinner tonight, I am making the Home Chef Chicken Breast in Red Wine Butter Sauce with creamed kale and seared mushrooms. So I have these mushrooms, thyme, butter, shallot, garlic, red wine, red cooking wine, evaporated milk, red wine vinegar, some kale, and chicken. I have to, I have to, I have to figure out the points for this. Um, so while I'm cooking, I will do that. And then this is what it's going to look like. And all the steps. So... All right, let's get cooking. All the ingredients are prepped. Kale, mushrooms, shallots, garlic, thyme. And does anyone know an easier way to destem thyme? I probably should YouTube it, but I don't um, have time right now. I'm going to make the, uh, the chicken is cooking. Another way I save on... Um, points is like if it says to sear the chicken in oil, no need for it. I just use my cast iron skillet and I sear it without any oil. And next up is the beurre blanc. Oh no, the beurre rouge sauce. I guess rouge because it's red wine. And that's the other cool thing about hongas. If it makes you feel fancy because they teach you all these cool like cooking techniques. Um, it's all right. Let's keep cooking. Oh my god, I wish they were smell-o-vision. These mushrooms with the thyme and garlic smell so good. And this red wine vinegar shallot concoction just smells so delicious. 
All right, we are on to the creamed kale. So that has to cook down. Still in the process of making that bar rouge sauce. Hope I'm saying that right. And the chicken is done. So I'm almost getting ready to eat. Oh, I calculated everything. And with all the butter, the red wine, uh, 16 smart points for this meal. But I won't have, well, I won't even, I'll probably only use half of a half of the amount of sauce I'm allotted. So then I figure it'll be like 12 smart points for this meal. So I'm excited. All right, here is the finished dish. Looks good. Hope it tastes good. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my official taste tester. Oh, it's, it's awesome. Really good. You probably don't recognize him without his white undershirt <laughs> on. <laughs> mm. Mm. Really good. I like it. And Kylie, what do you want to say? Stay fit and fabulous. Have a good week. <laughs> <laughs> Can yeah, you give me a... two thumbs up? Mm, yeah. Mac and cheese is really good. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I love the uh, creamed kale. I've never had that before. It's awesome. It's yeah, like right? a, a take on uh, cream spinach. It's really, yeah. really, really yummy. Awesome. After dinner snack, I am having three Hershey Kisses for three smart points. I actually keep these in the freezer when I need a little chocolate fix. So three smart points for three. And I have still eight left over, so... I don't know if I'm done or I'm going to make an apple dessert. We'll see. Yep, apple dessert is happening. So I'm going to take these two apples, cut them up, put cinnamon on them, put them in the microwave for two minutes, and then making one for me and my husband. And then I'm going to put four graham crackers on each and a quarter cup of dairy whip topping for three smart points. So I will show you that when it's done. And if you want more of the step-by-step, -step, I will link the recipe below that me and Princess Leia put together. So yeah, um, okay, let me show you when it's done. So there is the apple dessert all done. Got my apples, graham cracker, whipped cream, and that is only three smart points. Also, I totally forgot to say how many smart points my breakfast was. The Weight Watchers smoothie packet is two, the almond milk is one, and the pineapple is free. So it's only a three smart point breakfast. So I'm actually ending my day with five smart points left over. I get 39 in a day, and I only ate 34 today. So it was a great day. Hope everybody is doing fabulous, and stay fit and fabulous. Bye!